When I was in high school, I learned about a verse in 1 Corinthians that really got my attention. It says that God uses the little things to accomplish great things. Since I felt small, I began to think, maybe God could use me. When Cynthia and I first felt called to Nicaragua, we felt small. But we had confidence that God could use our efforts, the gifts he had given us, our God-given abilities, and whatever effort we would make to have an impact on a culture and a people which he dearly loves. We believe in the power of small. We believe that God will enable us to do what he's placed in our hearts with what he's placed in our hands. And that if we're faithful, we'll always have enough to accomplish great things, even at times when our resources may seem meager. These three manzanas of land here were barren. We partnered with El Faro Church out of Managua and El Faro Cristo Rey and the Neo Fund from Portland, Oregon. Ernesto came in and did training and he led the class in the work to restore this soil. The soil on either side of us is barren. So we planted beans through the whole pasture, uh, Canavalia. And they created 4,500 pounds of organic fertilizer, tilled it into the soil to restore the soil. And this is our test of the soil's capacity to produce at this point. So since we have demonstrated the productivity of the soil, now we get to plant for production purposes. So this is a small plantain patch. The seeds for these plantains come from our farm in Feta Cruz which came from our farm in Chichigalpa, which came from our farm in Leon, which was our prototype in 2006 that proved our model. So what we did in the beginning is continuing to impact the lives of families here in Nicaragua and different parts of the country. Some of us are familiar with Jesus' promise to his disciples that even though he was about to leave them, he would send them another comforter. The word translated comforter is the Greek word parakletos, and it means to come alongside and render aid. So we operate on the parakletos principle, coming alongside people in need. When we come alongside someone, we give them dignity. When we're willing to join in their labor, when we're willing to join with them in their conquest of their difficult circumstances, we show that we value them as a person even above the value we place on our work and our contribution. Mm -hmm.